just like that. We talk with Kevin Laser and the folks from CareerLink every Friday, uh, but um, we, we wanted to extend the segment a little bit today because, uh, Kevin, good morning to you. Good morning, Todd. It's good to have you with us. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Uh, Kevin, you got something big coming up, don't you? We sure do. On April 13th will be the Indiana County Employment Expo. Mm -hmm. Um, In the morning, we are running um, employer panels, and we're bringing in uh, students from 10th and 11th grade um, in the Indiana area school districts. Um, Right now, we're estimating about 750 students. Wow. And they're going to talk to employers about employability skills, um, what you need to be successful in the workplace, and then they're going to have an opportunity to walk around the arena and talk to employers that they might be interested in a career in. And then in the afternoon, we're going to run a normal job fair, and it will run from um, 1 to 3. And, of course, as we always do, veterans will be admitted at 1230, a half hour before the general public. And as of right now, we have 65 um, employers, and they'll all be hire ready, and uh, hopefully we can – continue the work that you did and and find some more people some more jobs yeah Yeah. Um, and just quickly you know it's hard to believe but it was 2006 may of 2006 i began my my journey here as the administrator for the career link and at that time the um career fair was already planned Mm -hmm. and it was out at the best western and and then there were good things and bad things of course with any event you always look to improve and so we talked to the local team that was planning them and decided to move it to the S&T Arena. And for several years, we held the event at the S&T Arena, and we tried to bring in students at that time, and, and there was no real plan. Um, you know. So we had some kids that maybe showed up dressed un- inappropriately and, and things like that. So as the event evolved, we, uh, Mark Hilliard got us in contact with the K-12 counsel- guidance counselors group. And uh, we've been planning this expo in, in this manner from 2018 to 2019. Um, we, de- we decided to move it over to the KCAC, where we think that's a professional environment. And, uh, you know, it's really worked out in 2019. Um, we had 800 students in 2019. Unfortunately, due to COVID, the event was canceled in 2020. And in 2021, was it planned? So we're going to give it a shot again. Um, April 13th, again, the students will be there from 9 to 11.30, and then a regular job fair from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. Yeah. But I, and it's interesting because what I do every year is I look at how many employers showed and how many job seekers showed and then what the unemployment rate was. And it seems that when the unemployment rate was low, there were more job seekers and less employers. And then the opposite is true. When the unemployment rate was real high, there were more or I mean more low, uh, more more employers and more less job seekers. So we have a feeling that it will be more employers and, and less job seekers, but we encourage people to attend. Um, and we have employers from all kinds of fields, from banking to manufacturing. We also have some employers that are around the surrounding county as well, not just Indiana, Maine. Yeah, well, the interesting thing about all of that is that, that it turns it into a job seekers market. Uh, you can... Correct. Really explore all of the different job offerings that are out there and uh, find something that you think works best for you. Now, for students, when they show up, of course, there will be educators there as well, mm-hmm. uh, educational institutions that can help guide them in uh, what their educational pursuits will be. Uh, but for when the employers uh, are there with job seekers, uh, and, and isn't to say that some of the students won't be job seekers as well, mm-hmm. uh, but there in the afternoon session, um, uh, they'll be able to actually talk with the people interview them on the spot, and some people could walk out of there with a job just like ours a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely, and that's the whole goal, because if employers have employees, then the whole economy, everybody benefits from people being employed. And, you know, with the pandemic, the way we do work sometimes changes. I know a lot of positions I'm seeing now, um, you know, give an option for some time working at home and some time working in the office. Um, So the work area and how we do it has changed. I know for our business it's kind of hard Um, We deal with people every day, so we have to do the face-to-face. Or if you worked at retail of any kind, like Sheets or Lowe's or something like that, it's kind of hard to do that virtually. So, um, you know, we've had the employers have had to adapt, workers have had to adapt, but you know, I think everybody's excited just to even have a face-to-face event because we had to cancel and couldn't couldn't um, hold 
hold them as well. I mean, yesterday was the opening day for the Pirates, and they said the same thing. It was just good to play in front of a whole whole crowd. So, yeah, opportunity face-to-face. I think as an employer who does hiring myself, um, I prefer, you know, we've when we were hiring some of the guys here, I've had to do the interviews virtually or by the, by the phone, and I prefer the face-to-face. I like to see the candidates eye-to-eye. So sure. I'm hoping that employers will get a chance. We encourage all job seekers, and as we speak, a little bit next week on other topics. Um, hopefully it'll be a good event for everybody. Yeah, it sounds like it will be. So that's next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so vets, remember, you get in a half hour early, so 1230 for them, right? Correct. And it's also important to note that in addition to the 65 employers, there will be seven or eight veterans, members of the Veterans Services Providers Group, that veterans can find out about uh, a number of different topics in, in them to help overcome any barriers that they may have to employment or just um, and information in general. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. Now, as to what we normally do when we visit <laughs> on Fridays, uh, you've got some things there to tell us about, too. Absolutely, Todd. I went on the system yesterday before I left work, and there are 2,390 positions within 25 miles of 15701, and I pulled up some that were, were posted in the last four days, and we have a closing coordinator, a cook, a programmer, a customer service representative, a handyman, a deposit service specialist, athletic trainer, utility operator, loan system specialist, telephone financial consultant, carpenter, painter, security credit officer, behavioral consultant, behavioral health technician, caregiver for adults in home, um, senior accountant, and borrower assistant representative, laborer, and commercial loan specialists. Those were just some of the ones that were posted in the last three or four days. And uh, if you're interested in those positions, you can go on our website, www.pacareerlink.pa.gov, or if you need assistance to set an appointment um, before attending the job fair even um, to look at your resume, um, please do so before um, Tuesday because Tuesday we'll be taking materials over to the KCAC, mm-hmm. um, but we'll help to review your resume. You can give us a call for an appointment, 724-471-7220. I'm thinking that a lot of the people who posted those jobs that you're looking at this morning uh, might also be at the KCAC come Wednesday. Correct. Very Correct. good. And, and as far as employers go, we have about five tables left, so um, all the print and and the you know the commercials we're running with you guys are mm-hmm. already turned in, but I can fit five more employers. So if someone oh, missed, okay. missed the deadline, we've got five slots. First come, first first served. All right. So if you are somebody who has a business and you're not in with the uh, with the fair next week, then uh, you should give Kevin a call right away. Yep. Seven two four four seven one seven two two zero. Beautiful, Kevin. We'll talk with you again on Monday about this. Okay. Sounds good. Have a great weekend. You too. We'll see All you. right. Thanks, Todd. It Bye-bye. is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. This has been quite the adventure here. This has been quite